Hi friends, welcome back to my video. I thought it would be time to do my first update on my Project Skincare. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I have left and then I'll show you what I have used up. So I still have this um, Avene O Thermal Thermal Spring Water Spray. I've got this Clarice Sea Salt Solutions Face Instant Glow Exfoliate. I have not yet touched this Boshika Detoxifying Black Cleanser or the little sponge that came with it. Um, I'm still not brave enough yet to try out the Tarte Brazilian's um, Skim Rejuvenating Maracuja Self Tanner. I have the Lancer The Method Polish Cleanser. I've got the Glam Glow Mud Mask Mud to Foam um, Daily Exfoliating Cleanser. The Dr. Jart Ceramidian Day Tint Dinted, Tinted Day Moisturizer. I've got this Pure Lease Gentle Soy Milk Cleanser and Makeup Remover. I've got the Band Total Refresh Cleansing Cloth. I've got the Lorac Tantalizer Body Bronzing Luminizer. And then these things are things that I'm currently working on. I've got the Tarte Maracuja Oil Sample. I've got this Acure Facial Cleansing Gel. Even though it looks like I've made good progress on this, I still have a long way to go. And then the last thing I'm working on is the 100% pure coffee bean caffeine eye cream. I actually squeezed this out into this empty um, Tarte C brightener because I have found I really like applying um, my under eye cream with this little device my mom gave this to me. It came with one of her Avon kits. I like this for two reasons. One, this naturally gets cold sitting in my medicine cabinet, so it helps with deep puffing. It also makes me pick up less... Uh, under eye cream with less waste because I can get it all in this area uh, without wasting product in my fingers or having it absorbed in my fingers. It also feels cleaner than using my fingers. Even though I wash my hands, I still just like the effect better. So I have squeezed this into here um, while I work on it. As for my progress, I feel like I've made good progress even though I still have a lot left to use. The problem is in this particular product, I have lots of face washes and I only really wash my face with face wash once a day or twice a day if I'm doing it in the shower. I tend to at night just take a makeup remover wipe and the um, simple micellar water and that's how I clean my face I so it just takes me a long time to go through a face wash sample especially one like a one ounce so I'm gonna keep plugging away on that but here's what I've used I used up this belief true cream aqua bomb I used an entire one of the Tarte Maracuja oils I technically used two of the Tarte um, C brighteners and I have to say I really really liked these this is definitely a competitor for my next eye cream that I might buy I just like how thick it is and it definitely did brighten up those under eye circles I used up the it's potent eye cream from benefit and I have to say I still prefer the Tarte one over this even though I have a full size of this sitting in my hoarding closet this just is too thin. I really do prefer the thicker eye creams. I use this um, Fresh Black Tea Age Delay Instant Infusion Treatment Toner. It protects and moisturizes. I definitely say it is the most moisturizing toner I've ever used before, but I wasn't a big fan of the smell, very herbally, and it didn't necessarily do anything to my skin, and I, I got a lot of uses out of it. Um, so nothing on my, I feel like I should go out and buy. I used two of these Clinique Acne Solutions Clearing Gels. This is a salicylic acid acne medication. This just smelled like straight up alcohol and it was really sticky, so I would never wanna go out and buy this. Plus, I don't feel like my skin is experiencing acne anymore. I've been pretty acne free for almost eight months, which is phenomenal. I hope that that's a real life thing that I can continue on the rest of my days. Um, so I don't necessarily feel like I need this anymore. I use the Jergens Wet Skin Moisturizer Samples. They didn't wow me. I really prefer the Nivea, but I do have a full size of this, so I can definitely explore it more to get a better feel. Use this Clinique Exfoliator. Um, it was like a pad. It didn't really work. It, I would not buy this. Um, I used the Exfoliate by Kate Somerville. This thing was weird and green and just no. I would not ever do this again. It was a very bizarre sample that I'm just, I, I just don't get it. Uh, so, no. Uh, I used the Origins Frost, Frothy Face Wash. It was nice, but as all Origins product, products are, they are too herbally for me, so I'm gonna pass on those in the future. 
I used the Fresh Black Tea Age Delay Eye Concentrate, just so, so nothing that was really impressive. Uh, I used more of the Clinique. I used the Cleanse and Moisturize. They just didn't really impress me. I know that there's like a cult following for Clinique products, but these just didn't seem all that great. Um, so I, I wouldn't want to go out and buy them. I used the Olay Hendrickson 3-in-1 Cleansing Jelly, which also removes your makeup. Um, this legitimately worked. I was very surprised. I've never had one of these actually take off a makeup before. It was really cool, but I'm very weird. I, I don't like the idea of taking off your makeup and washing your face. It just doesn't seem like a legit way to wash your face. I prefer to remove the makeup first and then wash my face. Um, so if I wasn't weird like that, I might want to explore this more because it, it was really interesting. I use this Julep Glycolic Hand Scrub. Nope, I'm not a person who likes hand scrubs. I'm not gonna get this again. And then I had this um, pore dermabrasion from Dr. Brandt. This was nice, but stuff's really expensive, so I wanted to actually buy it. So that's it for my progress. I feel like I'm making good progress. I really whittled it down to just like my deluxe size or, um, you know, container travel size products. But I feel like it's going to take me a lot longer to give my next update to you guys. It's going to take me a really long time to get through this next round of bigger samples. But as soon as I make a big enough dent, I will update you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.